Well, it's been hard work. You might just struggle in some of the uh, conditions. Finally paid off. Huh? That two. two, four, and nine, I think, or so. What is it? Twenty past twelve, isn't it? Twenty past twelve. Friday. Me, Mad Mikey, are at the Black Lagoon. And what a place it is. Natural is an understatement. Uh, Estate Lake, yes. 100%. Um, been here a little while. Had a chat with uh, Mr. Hodgson, Catherine, and uh, we've had a good wander around. And we're now having another wander around. Now it's just us. Mikey's on the phone. But, um, yeah. Stunning place, and uh, just so many options. It's so pretty. You can hear the pump, which is not on all day, but is on at the minute. So we're doing Friday till Sunday at this wonderful lake. Yoda will be down hopefully tonight, possibly in the morning but should be tonight, I'm busy man. This will be the first time Mikey's used all his new gear, so he's like a serious kid at the minute. He was this morning when uh, I was bringing out boxes him to look at but uh, and it'll be my second time getting out with my gear I had a little session last weekend down the syndicate but it's going to 
going to be interesting. Hopefully show you some of the uh, wonderful old carp that are in here. Ian and Catherine have had this for a year now, a little over a year I think. They've done a lot of work. A lot of work. Lots of weed was in here, they've cleared lots of that out without killing it. You can see all the pads and and, and the trees and it's just amazing to be fair. Big manor over the back there. Yeah. At the moment, like I say, we're just walking around, spotting fish, looking at the swims, seeing what we fancy. But they all look good, to be fair. They all look really good. Plenty of options. Every swim you uh, walk into, there's, there's, there's overhangs and there's pads and there's all sorts. So it's going to be a tricky one. Bamboo swim. Kick Mike in a minute if you don't get off his phone, get his head on the fishing. I'm just doing a few pictures as well as the video at the minute. Uh, just trying to capture some images and do this place justice because I'm sure a lot of people, have, if you've been on the Black Lagoon group, and I know there's been a few crusaders that have visited here already and, and caught some of the nice fish that are in here. Um, the pictures that are on the group are good and they do show it off, don't get me wrong, and I I'll, I'll really want to do that as well um, because this is, this is stunning, really stunning. So I'm going to turn the video off for a bit, try and do some camera work, then we're going to see what we can do as far as swims. And, uh, and start getting the gear down from the van. Who's on the phone? Yoda! Yoda. Hurry up! Working? I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm always working. Hurry up, tell him. Get his priorities straight. He's missing out big time. Right. So, it's time to uh, yeah, put this video camera down. Do a bit more exploring. And... Uh, Look at that, look at the water, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, time for the video to go and get the camera going, take some shots.
ten to seven. Oh. Black Lagoon Fishery. Rods are out finally. Lots of work, a lot of boat work. Trying to find spots, as you can see, there's a, there's a bit of weed. They've cleared lots, done lots of work on it, but it's just a matter of finding the right spots. Uh, it's taken us a lot of the day to do that. It was here about half past 12, I think, was the last bit of video I did. The time we got the gear down and all that. I guess we've been searching around and doing stuff since, I don't know, two o'clock. Yeah, the rods are out. Three stiff dinges. All on nice spots. I did manage to uh, forget the stick mix that I had made up ready for this trip. I'm hoping I'm going to have a saviour who's going to bring it down to me tomorrow. But yeah, it's all sorted. Bits are out. And uh, it's getting dark already. But feeling quite hopeful. I've seen quite a few fish moving about today. Uh, quite a lot of bubbling up and that, so they're definitely feeding and and on the munch, shall we say. The weather's good for it. So yeah, fingers crossed. We can snare one or two. So. Rods. New rods, new reels, although they're the same reels I had before, apart from custom handles, alarms, same alarms, and hopefully we can christen them today along with obviously Mike is hoping he can do the same with all his stuff brand new, and a fish each at least would be a, would be a good way to open the account for our first time back together fishing properly but for now that's all I'm going to do time for a tea and uh, yeah time to relax so it's quite early Saturday morning Gonna wander down because Yoda turned up last night. Uh, quite late, dark. Managed to, uh, he's up in Catherine's. Managed to bivvy up and get his rods out. And he's got one in the bag. So let's go and have a little look. See what's going on. Well, I'll give him, give him the swim with no weeding, so. This should be in the weed, is it? Nah. It's on it, Don't matter. Where are you doing it there, yeah? I might need to get right back for the photos, though. I did not sleep last night. You didn't? Is your rods going on to Nah, I had a kind of bleach on this, no one that went.
come back and have it when it's 30, 34 pounds. Perfect shot going on going back in the shore. What's happening? He's having all the fish. Well, we put him on the spot. We said we'd sort him out. So we set the camera before we got it. We pulled it out. So at ten o'clock, I was about to go stalk him with a rod, just sorting my bits out, and Yoda has got another fishy. So we're going to have a look, see what it's all about. Reckons it's a nice one. Find out.
Right, so it's quarter past twelve, Saturday. Uh, got some porridge on the go. Stalking didn't work out. Rods are in, can you see? Baits hanging from the uh, eyes. And what else you might be able to see? St now stalking. Boys. Poaching. Proper poaching. Oh, let's watch him put it in the tree. Mike in the tree, Yoda to drop his phone. Oh, what's happening here? Down the side of the pads. What are having a feel about? Weed. Not too happy with that, but it looks a bit. Are they going to move? On the move. Got quite warm again today. There's a lot of fish on top moving around. Uh, Yoda's had some floaters out, but we've taken one or two, but not massively confidently. So we've all done a bit of stalking, gone wandering with a rod. Try and nick a bite in the edge in the margins. But uh, not happened as yet. Like I say, I've just come back, put some bait on my spots again. Just sitting back and we're gonna have something to eat, radio. Just relax for a bit. And uh, think about what we're gonna do next. Been using stiff dinges with uh, with the XL baits, pop-ups, that match my bottom baits. And I think I may come off the stiff dinges and I may go to a multi-rig, popped up again. See if that does me any good. Um, yeah, we'll see. Twenty-five past four. I'm having lunch. <laughs> Twenty-five past four and we're hungry. It's raining and we're barbecuing. That's the good British uh, attitude there. It is barbecuing all weather. But um, so yeah, as you can see, raining. No fish to report. Uh, Ian and Catherine have been down. Had a good long chat and a bit of a laugh and that. Um, yeah, rods have been refreshed, plenty of bait gone back out, the old uh, XL baits. A few different rigs are out there at the minute, combi rig on one with, uh, what's it with, with a yellow pop-up on it. I've got one on a stiff hinge I think. No, I haven't. One is a plain normal bottom bait. And one's on multi rig. And they're all out. Like I say, bait round them. We're hungry. 
I know it's early, but we're hungry. So burgers, sausages, on the go. Even in the rain. It's half past five and the voodoo is broken. Can only mean one thing. Yes, fish. Fish in the in the net, well chuffed. So it's just waiting there resting and relaxing, a little comment which I'll do some pictures of and a little bit of video I'll hopefully show you all but as you can see in a minute wet 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 very wet but um yeah happy really happy but yeah as soon as uh, it dries out a little bit and we can get out and do some pictures and uh, a bit of video footage without getting absolutely soaked. I'll be doing that. Food's eaten, barbecue we've had. Everyone's in their bivvies at the minute. And uh, yeah, torrential rain at the minute. Big change in weather, big change. It's obviously better for me, better for the fish. Uh, Definitely, definitely helped out my uh, my blanking. I think that's for sure. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll be doing pictures and videos as soon as possible, where I don't get too wet. VNF dumbbell pop up, multi rig, section angling bits, uh, as far as hooks and rig bits, little carpy Chris lead, beautiful stunning Black Lagoon common, and it's a dark common, gotta love a dark common. Right, I'm getting soaked, so I was going back. Morning. It's eight o'clock Sunday morning. Very quiet night. I've got to say I had a early night last night. Say early, sort of ten o'clock. Night before it was a really late one, and I think it hit all of us yesterday evening. So ten o'clock, we'd all gone back to our bivvies, and it was raining. So a little bit of a sleep in, I would normally try to be up a bit earlier than what was I up at seven. But um yeah nothing nothing to talk about. Apart from I've just moved the right rod, just moved that into an area where the fish seem to get up. When I get into uh, an area to my right, 
in amongst all the weed where the sun comes up. So I'm going to give it another hour or so when that sun's right up. Um, like I say, we've been noticing them moving into a, an area of weed. Just down by them tiny little patch of wannabe lilies, shall we say. Just to the right of that. There's a lot of weed there, but um, a few clear spots, multi-rig, uh, Excel pop-up matching the bottom baits, a few bottom baits have gone out there around it, scattered all around the area. I was fishing out in between them two lilies, so I've moved that, brought that one in, I've dropped it in there. I know they get in there once that sun gets up so I'm hoping being there early in before they uh, start moving into that area the bait's in place and we're ready to go when I did get up earlier my left hand rod did have a a lift and a drop and a lift and a drop but um I did jump up like you do, and when you had a look out there, you could see there was some a couple of uh, coots out there. I think one of them had picked it up and dropped it. It's a multi rig, so it reset itself, should be fine. Yeah, I'd say quite night, which was needed to be honest because I was absolutely shattered yesterday. And as soon as the boys went off, I got in my bag, and that was it, I don't remember no more. Just literally went straight to sleep. So I'm going to finish off my cup of tea, watch the water for a bit, and then see what the day brings. Twenty past two, Sunday, one rod left, packing up. Yoda left this morning, I don't know if I've said this. Uh, not a lot of recording done, 
but Mikey did have another common which you should have some recording if it was facing the right way and some pictures and since then we've been sorting ourselves out packing up tidying up make sure there's no rubbish and that left and it's just the last little bits I say one rod left Mikey bound to probably still have three rods out because he's like that but yeah end of the session more or less Uh, cracking place I might have used the word before but it is kind of magical it is literally like a little pool say a little pool it's not that little to be fair it's, it's pretty long it's pretty big big enough um, weed pads wildlife but good swims nice easy walk around the lakes you're not in walking through people's swims or the pathways are good uh, Ian and uh, Catherine been down a couple of times really good chats with them really nice people make you feel uh, welcome and any problems and that they can sort out try and help you out with spots and, and what have you but obviously oh, it's always better to do your own thing really for that but yeah nice place if you want something that's slightly different not your normal day ticket water it's got a bit of history to it and uh, definitely a lot of character to it then uh, Black Lagoon Fishery is one worth a visit so get yourself up here, check it out, contact Ian or uh, Catherine try and get yourself booked in and that and uh, yeah come and sample it, not easy fishing by any means as you can see the weed uh, the work they've done to clear what weed was in here and, and from talking to them is unreal uh, and you can see the weeds on the far bank where some of it has been put out of the way where they've cleared it out uh, a lot a lot of weed to the point where you probably just couldn't fish it but no they've made it definitely more accessible fishing is um, like I say it's not it's not an easy don't expect a runs water it's not a runs water but the fish are here, we've seen plenty of them. Should have got some on video, we've definitely got some pictures. They're in here, but you have to work for it. You have to, uh, you have, to have a think about it, and that's exactly what I like about it. Got the brain taxing, got, got me thinking about how I'm going to present stuff, where can I find the spots. There's a boat here with a life vest. We used that first day we was here, done a lot of work went out with a couple of prodding poles and and tried to find some nice spots and that and we did all right um, probably could have done slightly better made some find, found some uh, better spots maybe who knows but we've all caught Mikey's had two Yo's had two I've had one but the main thing is we all caught lovely fish all characterful fish uh, all in really good condition as well they're all they're all real pretty fish uh, especially the tiger fish we're going to call it uh, that Yoda had that was a special little fish uh, that's a lovely fish but um, yeah you want something quiet out the way with uh, steeped in history and uh, looks as pretty as it does then this is a place to visit so uh, contact Ian contact Catherine check out Black Lagoon Fishery on, on Facebook have a little look at it book yourself in come down and do a day session weekends I think they more or less that they book weekends only obviously if there's no one booked on then I think they may allow people to uh, do a day session so it's just a matter of keeping in contact with them message them find out what you can do and sort something out it's nice and secure behind a gate it's a locked gate and you're in the middle of nowhere more or less so you feel you feel good about it you feel safe enough. Uh, there's a toilet on site, Portaloo up in the corner. Yeah, not much more to say, I'm just gabbling on about it. But yeah, I will be back 100%. Um, just for the fish, I love characterful fish. I don't care what size is. Um, just the darkness, the old warriors, 
and, and the fact this place is so pretty, the wildlife, the, we've seen kingfishers flying around, um, heard the owl about and you know, it is pretty, really, really stunning. It's State Lake at its best really. So yeah, we've done our session, we've had fish. The new gear is all christened. And uh, coming to the end of it, back to normal. Get feel back to normal. I have to pick my camera bag up, like that ain't fun. <laughs>